Oh my, this thing is huge. A crappie. I ain't even gonna lose this one. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy MJ here on MJ's Fishing Adventure. Folks, I'm doing something different today, man. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any comments, drop a comment below. And be, hey, subscribe. Now, like I said, I'm doing something different. I'm probably like most anglers. I'm stubborn. I tried this technique probably about a year ago. What I'll do, I'll leave a, a um, if you guys make it to the end, I'm going to leave a video so you can watch me use this setup. So I'm going to use it today, and hopefully I can get locked in on these big boy crappie. All right, so y'all lock in, man. Let's do it. Too dang deep. Oh, I got something on now. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. Oh, that's a good one. That's a man right there. That's a nice one. Ooh. Yeah, he going in the bucket. <laughs> I thought I was stuck on a rock down there. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. I thought I was stuck, folks. We're going to definitely put him in some water. That's one. On the double jig rig with the slip cork. We going back out. So what I did, folks, I went a little deeper. So hopefully, I got him locked in. All right. We're going to get back at it. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, got another one. Yeah, they deep. That one ain't down there. I done locked in on them. Another keeper. Another keeper. The double jig rig with the slip court strikes again. them good too. We're in them now. Yep. And I left my thing down there. There you go. Man. You have a uh a needle nose? Yeah, sure. You want me to get it out? Yes, sir, please. You want to get it? I, I can get it. I left mine down there. If I'm going to catch him like this. I'm going to go right back down there and get it. Bring your stuff up here. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. No problem. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to show you this setup that I'm using. Like I said, I'm using, you guys can see the lose combo. I got probably about maybe six pound test line on here. And so I'm dressing it with a one 16 ounce jig head on the bottom. And on the top one, you can see, is a one 30 second ounce jig head. And so like I'm using a um, monofilament line. Now if it was a braid, it'd probably definitely be a totally different setup. So with this setup, what I'm using right here, I'm just using these split shots just to stop the barber from going all the way down. Now, some anglers may like it going all the way down. Me, I just like to stop it right there. And I have my depth is probably around maybe eight foot. <clears throat> so, now in this water that I'm fishing, like I don't know if you, if you guys are watching, I'm continuing going on the same side, but I have to worry about there's a pipeline down there. So sometimes I get caught up. So all I have to do is just adjust the depth. And that's the great thing about using those slip barbers. So, I'm gonna to continue to keep working this area because I'm having a lot of success right here. So I hope you guys stay tuned and we can get hooked on some more.
Got another one. Well, he ain't no keeper, but he'll definitely make the credits. Ah. Hey, he loved them crappie baits by CMI. <laughs> Let's go. We'll let him grow. We'll catch you probably a year or two. All right, so hey, I like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right in front of me, right here. Okay. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. We'll add them. Yes, sir. Got a little backbone. Mm -hmm. He caught him on the slip, the slip court too. I put him on, folks. Something on there. Got another one. Got him. Oh, this is something big right here. This is something big. Oh, he's just a big boy slab. I ain't losing this. Oh, my. This thing is huge. A crappie. I ain't even gonna lose this one. Let him tie himself out. Man. <laughs> This thing is massive. Lord have mercy. Get over here. Lord. No, don't you do it. Oh. Look at it. Man. Oh. <gasps> That thing is a beast. You hear me? Lord have mercy. A beast, folks. That is a man. You hear me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if you guys can get this now. I, I normally like to tip the, uh, the hook with these Posky crappie fireballs. Now I've tried the green. I tried the one that's like a like a, a like a gummy type paste, and you know for me I haven't had any luck. But when I use this color right here, man, I've been having a lot of success. When it comes to getting you pulling these slabs in, so I say everything's about preference and whatever you like. So I, I, I normally go with that color if I'm um, putting something on the tip of these jig heads. So <clears throat> and it works. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm just like an everyday angler like yourself, man, trying to find the next best thing to help you bring some fish in. So. So right now what I'm doing is just I'm just gonna keep just keep bumping it along. And when I'm doing that, when I'm reeling it in, it that those those lures are gonna be trailing. And it's gonna just, you know, fall in place right up under that barber slowly. Now normally I probably just go with two 30 second ounce jig heads. 
because it's not um, as windy today. I thought it would be windy. I may change that bottle one out and put a 30 second ounce jig head on there because I usually put a heavier weight just for when it's windy. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. I think that's another man right there, folks. I think that's another keeper. I think that's another keeper, folks. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, so pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, but this man's been out here big time. So I'm just switching it up like I may walk the dog a little bit or I may just just uh, a slow retrieval back man that's it the slow retrieval back they hungry right now they eating I'm gonna throw him in the, in the bucket <clears throat> there you go there you go I can turn it on right on right on time big boy bag Got another keeper, folks. Wasn't recording, but we're gonna put him in the cooler. All right, guys, that wraps up another episode of MJ's Fishing Adventure. I had to cut it short because of the rain is starting to come in, man. But I can absolutely say I'm proud of myself that I locked in on a new setup that I didn't try in a while. I did it like a year ago. Um, so I'm absolutely confident now when I do go out fishing, I use this setup that it will definitely bring in the slab. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Share it, like it, drop a comment. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.